I need to be able to mount the casting from this side too, or to snug it down to secure it. So um, this is uh, a little bit too small mill for this. Uh, I think could use my workplaces, uh, which has a one meter throw. This is only 50 or 80 centimeters, I think it is. But um, I will play around to see if this this is okay too. And this is my setup for boring the hole. Uh, I'm just diving in on the shaft there, traversing back and forth. So I'm using manual feed for the boring operation here. Opening up that hole to 50 millimeters. I don't want any mistakes. Yeah. Making a seat for the boss, the end boss that, or the end cap. So the hole is open up 50 millimeter plus a boss here to mount um, the adapter that will be bored a little bit off center and also a place for a flange here if he wants to to secure it. I've also used a snap gauge to confirm that um, the bore on this side as uh, compared to what is now here is the front or the, the down part is uh, slimmer here on this um, it's uh, slimmer on the rear part or the upper part I would say but by well around three hundredths of a millimeter on the radius or six hundredths of a millimeter on the diameter so that confirms uh, the reading uh, I got uh, that uh, it's a bit bell mouth to the bottom. Uh, try it now also from the rear side. Of course, it depends on just exactly how much uh, support you have, how sloppy it is. This way. So the more support, the better the, the fit. Well, from this side it's a bit more I measured it to be a bit more and you can hear that even though it's all the way in it's still a bit sloppy and um, here is where you lose support from the inside because there's a I mean there's a there's a hole through here which goes into this to grab this so this is only being now supported on this side of course but even here so I, <laughs> I would say that's a bit too much set up for uh, milling the around the face here and um, Luck, struck of luck, <laughs> it uh, mounted directly to the table like this. You are seldom defeated on this machine. Um, I'm now milling out uh, the underside here which i couldn't find another method of doing having bored through here also on the side and uh, faced and uh, <laughs> done this casting on various uh, sides really and also from the top so um, 
I think this machine is very versatile in this, this way. And that was all that was needed to have a flat there. I uh, made a miss there, as you see. Milling a little. I don't think it's necessary to mill that far in, but just withdrew the mill and cut it. I ended up taking a little bit more, so I extended the flat area over here. And also back the back side if one should make something that would go all the way through and bolt down here also.